Kaiser. This is the Kaiser Report. Markets, finance, and scandals. Stacy Herbert, talk to me. Well, finally, Max, a quick headline here because nothing drove America into the ground like the neocon war tied with the neocon bankers. And the, the front man for the entire war, I don't believe the Iraq invasion would not have happened without Tony Blair because George Bush in the United States was unable to articulate the argument. Tony Blair went up there with his evangelical fervor and sold it to people who wanted to kill people. Blair's memoirs, from number 10 to number 1, Tony Blair's account of his time in Downing Street became the fastest selling autobiography of all time after shifting hundreds of thousands of copies in his first 24 hours. And in the book, he's pushing for war in Iran. He's saying we have to start bombing Iran soon. So, more of the same. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll follow up on the uh, Tony Blair uh, biography in a subsequent show. Uh, we've got plenty for, in store for you, Tony, uh, so uh, stay tuned. Um, and there is an enormous choice to be made about Iran, uh, a more developed, more formidable, more populous, um, and uh, certainly better armed country than Saddam's uh, mm. Iraq, whatever it was. Are you actually saying that we should threaten them militarily if they are determined to develop nuclear weapons? I am saying that I think it is wholly unacceptable for Iran to have nuclear weapons capability. But what can we do um, about it? And um, I think we've got to be prepared to confront them. Um, militarily? If necessarily militarily? Military, if necessarily militarily. I, I think there is no alternative to that. Um, if they continue to develop nuclear weapons, then they need to get that message loud and clear.